what you may identify with, I do want to encourage you. The Lord loves you and he wants you and he wants you to want him and he wants you to have the identity of Christ in you. He doesn't want you confused. He doesn't want you harmed. He only wants to bless you. But as we move in the blessing of Adar, we have to know who we are in Christ. And as that is revealed more and more within us, we're going to grow and we're going to experience a purpose-driven life that gives us hope, that causes us to be able to move forward, always looking forward to an expected end or a future full of hope and prosperity. In Ecclesiastes 10, 7, we read, I have seen servants riding horses while princes walk on foot like slaves. Here we see someone who is in an identity crisis. This person is a prince. He should be riding on a horse, but he identifies as a slave and he's walking uh, on the dust of the earth. And many people are moving uh, on the dust of the earth. They're moving uh, not in a higher way of life, but a very low life. They should be riding high uh, in the Lord. We know in Revelation, it speaks of Jesus riding on a white horse and his on his thigh, he's identified as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords says he is the king of kings. What people don't quite understand is that he is the king of you and you happen to be a king if you know the Lord, if Christ is in you. And you are also a Lord. Lord simply means ruler. He is the great Lord. You are the lesser Lord. He is the great ruler. You are the lesser ruler. But in Christ, we need to come to this we need to be conformed to the likeness of Jesus Christ our minds need to be transformed that we uh, aren't moving as people of the world move but we're moving in our highest calling which is a prize that the Lord grants us so the first thing I want you to look at in scripture with me is that you have to embody the truth embody the truth that you are a child of God and that you are a co-heir with Christ. Very powerful.